Hi, this is Phil over at Skip Dog, and uh, today, in keeping with our tradition of being cheap and easy and something you can do all by yourself without too much effort, we're going to show you how to build your launching pad. It takes you probably about 10 minutes worth of work to do once you get all of your materials done. The materials themselves probably cost you $10 or $15. Uh, all it is is PVC, a little bit of hardware, and there is, of course, the added cost of a PVC cutter. PVC cutters will make your life much easier. They're 10 or $15 uh, at your local home improvement store or hardware store. Well worth the investment. The ramp itself is, is made up of all the materials that you see right here. Um, we'll start with the cradle that's going to hold it in. When you have your ramp, it's going to slide into this, and that's what's going to keep it from shoving backwards on you. It's just a simple... Uh, hook. These are uh, um, hooks that you find for tying down tarps and such. So it's not an actual house hook. Then you have your standard little clamp that you put into a wall that you run something through um, and your screws that you will do with it. Now all you do is you put it, the screws in the bottom of it here so that it's on the opposite side of the hook end. Put your clamp down on there and screw it on. What we do for the the nuts here is we like to have those little seal screws, the ones that got a little plastic in there, they're self-sealing and they hold in place. That way if you have a little looseness in here, it doesn't hurt, it's not going to fall apart on you. And it's actually nice to have a little bit of looseness in your hook here. Now I slide the other part in. Alright, there we go. And just screw it in. I'm not going to take the wrench and tighten it in here for right now. Just pretend it's done. I've got the other one already done for you. Now we have our little hooks here. The next thing we're going to do is create the uh, thing to hook, hold this onto. What you're going to do is take a T and this T has the threaded on, threads on this side and then it's smooth on both of these sides. Now I've got a little, an 8 inch piece of PVC and I'm going to clean this off and then you and then glue it in. Now you take there's PVC cleaner. You just scrap, clean that end off and then use PVC cement. For purposes here today, we're not going to cement it in. I'm I'm assuming you could probably, you know, figure out cementing it. So, push it in like that. After you cement it, clean it both sides, put cement on and push it again. Now, when you do it, push it in as hard as you can to make sure it goes all the way to the end. The more to area you have glued, the more sturdy your piece will be. Then you're going to be sliding your little new made hook right on, just like this on both ends. And you have something that's going to sit down really nice like that. We have these little end caps. If you glue the end cap on each side, if your hooks are a little bit loose, and it's really kind of nice to have it a little bit loose, that way there's a little more flexibility when you put your board in. Um, this will keep it from coming off the end when you're trying to play. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the middle connection bar. Every ramp, depending on the size, will need a little bit different of a connection bar. You can get a lot of use out of one, one, uh, one cradle holder here just by ha changing the length of your connection bar. What I have here is a 20 inch piece of PVC and I have the threaded a threaded end here and then a, a, a smooth end. So again, clean your, your PVC off, put some glue on it and connect it. Do the same thing for the other side and then you just screw this in. You have half of it built now. What we're going to do for the other part here is I have two 10 inch pieces. Now when you're talking about these pieces and I'm saying 10 inches or 8 inches it's not all that important. Um, I'll show you when we're done how the, the variation that you can have but for what we're doing here with a standard you know, three or two or two to four foot board, it, this, these are pretty good numbers. All right, I take my 10 inch piece of PVC and I'm going to have, this is a T that's got an open end on the bottom here and then it's got threads on this side. You just snap that on, the same thing and snap that on. And then we have these threaded connectors, couplings, again it's uh, threads on one end and clear on the other and you just screw that in on each side. We have a threaded T that's the same as this side here. We're doing it on the other side. It's the threads on the middle and smooth on each of the sides. 
screw that on. Actually, you know, if you could screw it on or you can put it together, it's probably a better idea to do it this way. Screw or clean your ends off, glue it, stick it in, clean your ends off, glue it, stick it in. The reason I say it's probably better to do it this way is if you get some glue in the threads, when you have these connected, it'll glue them tight and you won't be able to remove it. So, do it the smart way rather than have a kind of a stuck one. What you have here then is your, your complete ramp, virtually complete ramp made up. Now what you're going to do with your ramp, and you'll see now why the, board, the middle piece here is so important. You're going to have legs coming out of here, and if you have a, a short ramp right here, you might be cutting it off at a point where you're going to have a lot of looseness on the top. So you kind of want your legs coming up at least on the top half of the ramp. You'll notice if you change the angle, you have a different size. So that's why it's important to have a different size middle. Again, if you have a 3 foot to a 4 foot board, a 20 inch middle is going to be perfectly fine for you. Now, the legs. This is where you can have multiple different size legs. Uh, what you're trying to get is different heights to do different types of throws. The longer the leg, the higher the angle is going to be. And the higher the angle, the shorter and the higher the higher it goes, but the shorter distance. All we're doing with this is getting ourselves a nice two pieces that are the same length. These are about eight inches, and uh, you're getting you take these little rubber pieces. They, they, you get it, they're they're for furniture. Um, you see for canes, you can get them at like the hardware stores. Um, home improvement centers, um, and all you're doing is just pushing it on each ramp, uh, each leg like this. These will help the rubber uh, things will keep it from slide your ramp from sliding a little bit, and you're just pushing those in. Again, the beauty of this is if you want to make a taller ramp, right here we just put our ramp in, and there you go, it's sitting. If I wanted to make it taller, I just remove this ramp or uh, this leg. Pardon me, I'll take this off. Just remove this leg and take a, a taller leg and put it in in place and you'll have a nice tall set. Just, you know, however high, high you want to make it. So, ultimately, here you go. You have a nice happy ramp launching pad to keep yourself moving. And that's about it.